good go. We're here. Welcome, imposter. Imposter. Whoa. What's happening, yeah. everybody? Welcome to Bonanza Shack. Shit, I should have done this. We got JP <laughs> Long's cousin. Yeah. We got Scott Sharp. We got Pinger Prospecting. We got Rose Nose Treasure. Oh, look over behind the tag. I put my tag up. See, anyway, there's Miss JP over there. If you didn't see her. And what's up, everyone? There's a beautiful piece of gold in the corner. In, in the Guido's corner, holding the spot to get to look like Guido. <laughs> How y'all doing tonight? Let's go over to the comments section, see who's here. Holy smokes, it's rolling. We got Joey Brown, just be cool, Mega Dog, and Mega Dog has got we will I'm on this side of a mail call here. It's gonna be fun. We got that to look at tonight. We got PA Patriot. Coming in strong. There was a lot of awesome people in here earlier. We showed up and we had a beard off. And it was gone. I couldn't watch. Me neither. Was, watch it. Wasn't watching it. I'll rewatch. Nobody saw me in that stream. I was not participating. No I figured, I, I figured he didn't want to show any kind of support. I was kind of I was like, well, I mean. He could have showed his support by showing up and showing his unsupport for it, you know, like trolling the situation, you know. No, no. <laughs> we, we were at Costco, man. I, we, I didn't even know. Didn't even get a notification until it was too late. All right, Lester. It was all very supportive. No trolling situation. Fargo Wizard showed up and made the evening pop off. Don't forget about John Ironman and Alan Curry as well. Oh, popping off the, the super chats. Earlier this evening, and really made things go. There's Mark Miller. Uh oh, he's gonna be back. Yeah, before we start, I'm still on my coffee. I haven't started yet. Oh, I got. I have both. I have both. I'm almost there though. Rich, coffee, coffee chaser, man. Coffee chaser. Banshee mining in the house. Julie, good to see you. Hey, hey Julie. Even Terry. PA come back. <laughs> yeah, where'd he go? I don't know. Got a little refurbished. <laughs> That's funny. Refurbished. That's good. Smash the like. That's good stuff. I get John Ironman in here. Rock and roll. Oh. Well, have a good night, Lester. We'll see you next time around. See you next time we see you. Night, Lester. Take it easy, Lester. Later, Lester. Some awesome people in the chat. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm pretty groovy. Uh, yeah. Happy, happy. I'm a little mellow right now. It's my belly full, and I'm trying to get. I have some coffee, kind of, you know, restart. I'll bounce back. What's up, PA? Chris Roberts, good evening. Heck yeah. Yeah, I got a, uh, thanks for watching the videos that have come out. Um, there's little quick videos, and I got, Another video set to premiere Friday evening before Freedom Friday. So I hope to see you there. Hopefully, I won't get busy all of a sudden and forget my own premiere. <laughs> it happen 25% of the time, like all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, Banshee, I recommend Kratos. Oh, yeah. It's like the American magnets now, right, Rose? You didn't ever really use them. 
We didn't, but I've heard nothing but great things about them. And I think JP has an affiliate link. Yeah, I got a discount code. Yeah. I have sent to you, but I'd rather use Autism Mary's discount code, Banshee, since it's a girl and you're a girl. That's cool. Yeah. I don't know what her discount code is, but maybe she'll show up and be able to give it to you. Yeah. Oh, I had a blast too, Julie. We got that banner. We got gold at 22 and silver closer to 26 than I've ever seen at 2583 on silver. Holy smokes, gold and silver is up. And that is always good. Look at that. As we finally hit 22. Everybody was talking about 22. There it is. Yeah. Next. We'll find out. Is it whole? Is it great? Oh, day, yes. So gold in at 22.09.26. Holy uh, And silver clocking in at 25.83. Wow. So that's up like silver two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It's up. So we got this piece of gold here. Look at this monker. It's a pretty interesting piece. Yeah, it's got some character to it. Y'all have to decide what 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 kind of what do y'all see in it? I mean, a rat howling at the moon. Sell, sell, sell. I see that now. I see a little kid getting ready to pounce. Um, or is it a, a sea lion about to catch a fish? I don't know. Or like a, a moose getting ready to get hit by a car. Moose, yeah. It's a, a cheeky elf with a funny hat. I see an Easter bunny now with his yeah. ears, ears flopped forward, his hand down. Like, <laughs> Easter uh, what, what was the name? Mad Hatter kind of dude. But, you know, was, yeah. this, this guy doesn't have a top hat. He just got ears. Easter bunny. Yes, I did, monkey. Oh, is he wearing it? No. The wife's got him in the wash machine. So greasy. Call it Monkey. Coffee. Grease Monkey. What up? Well, if y'all want a chance, this piece of gold could be yours. That's what I was going to run in like. This piece of gold. Is that about, let's see if I got it right. Yeah, we'll do the five extra one. Here we go. And y'all get to see about what it weighs. 1.5. It's over that, but we'll just call it 1.5. Check that bad boy out. Want to flip it? Want to flip it? See the other side. See what sounds like when it hits a pan. All right. You want a pan drop test? Pan That's drop that bad boy. In a that character as well. It's, it's not a slick piece. Um, where's my good pan? Me right here. Here we go. Pan drop test. Y'all want to hear it? Here we go. It's going to be loud. That's big. I'm going to plug in bullets out of the What's that side look like? like that. Anybody got any opinions on what that side looks like? Money. Looks like the Thundercats. The Eye of Pantera. <laughs> <laughs> What's it look like, monkey? I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like an Egyptian head. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely a head or a face, face in there. Face in, you know, that like this, I'm pointing. I'm pointing at the Egyptian nose. The mouth uh -huh. is down here. Uh -huh. the eyeball is about right there. It looks yeah. back. Yeah. Okay. Oh dang! Yeah. Yeah. And then the well, Thundercat. I was the Thundercat logo is at the far end of it. Yeah. Right, right here, you see yep. the. 
Can two veteran with the four ninety nine super chat. We got to super send it. Oh man, here we go. Here we go. Can do. I can't find it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that's awesome man that one? tim smith appreciate it southern reserve can i have some peanut butter and jelly you sure can Woo! yeah let's go i might be disappearing early tonight folks peanut butter and jelly time it's done. Here, I just—I don't need a cup. I think I got glass in here. Ooh, damn! Hashtag Freedom Fest. Yeah. Closer. I'm gonna have to move me twenty dollars to my cash app to get in on this. Here we got a. Uh, Brand new bottle of bullets that's been sitting back there a while. 58 days. 58. Oh, man. Hey, found the chat right away. This is some good stuff. Y'all like bullet for the price? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'll just make a little drink here. Pull a little bullet. My cat just dropped a bomb. A deuce? Yeah, it just totally stunk me out. Yeah. <laughs> Most cats have poor etiquette too. They don't cover it up. Was it was it PJ? No, it was his dad. <laughs> Paul, Paul McCatney. Yeah, yeah, Paul McCatney. Yeah, <laughs> Nancy, what's going on? So, what did you say, Rose? You have kittens with like three legs. I have two. Uh, well, I have one for sure, three-legged kitten, and one with the. Uh, it still has the potential to to be a three-legged kitten. I don't think it's going to happen, but we'll see. Did it's you have my... two sets of twins too? Come again. The twins. I'm certain that the orange boy, the orange are twins. Uh, the the size difference between the gray ones is massive, but one of the gray ones is one that lost a leg, and I just think it's just a little bit runtier, and that its brother is just a big old fat pig. <laughs> so I don't know that one for sure, but they're starting to look like a little more kitten and a little less alien, and they're starting to recognize when I come in the room and start yelling and oh, turning into little babies. So what are you gonna do with them? I'll rehome them. What's this? Can't see. So people are gonna like make TikTok and YouTube channels out of like this three-legged kitten, and it's gonna go on to live a happy ever after life, and they're gonna make millions of dollars by making TikTok videos about their three-legged kitten. That'd be nice. My daughter has Paul McCartney's sister, who is also three-legged. Oh. Wow. Oh damn! This is three-legged family. Huh? Mm -hmm. Like I think it's, and I think it has to do with the twins. The, and and the, it, I think he came from twins as well. He might be a twin himself. I think that's what did it, but I don't know for sure. I caught a rat in the cool shed today. <laughs> a rat? Yeah. I had to shoot it with the pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Marine says, "Never heard a cat fart before." <laughs> I've heard it once or twice, but it's not very common. Yeah. We got a mail call coming in from Mega Dog. Check this out. Thomas. 907. What's happening? What up, Thomas. What up, Thomas? Got an awesome cop around here. Eagle in the back. 
Man, yours looks way more cop coppery than mine did. I don't know. Maybe it's the camera. It kind of looks redder on that screen than it does in person for some reason. Oh, mine, mine, mine's gold, gold plated ish. It looks like. I can't. I can't. This is tiny little coin. I can't tell what it is because I can't see in the dark. It's like a buffalo. <laughs> nice buffalo. That is one, awesome. One grammar. Sweet. That is awesome. There's something real tiny in here. I was darkening. We got a couple of uh, nappings. And there's a couple arrowheads. Oh, sweet. That's cool. Oh, yeah. That's an awesome box. Mine's a cheap dollar. Yeah. He's cracked his gun. Well, head propped up on that. Hey, 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 Jeff. What's up, Jeff? Hello. He's at Hello. the barn. I'm at the barn. <laughs> Jeff Row, what's up? Not much. Not much. Go get frost the other night. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What'd you say, Peter? Yeah. Wow. Well, see if Jeff and them got frost the other night. It was close to it, but not quite. We did. We were close. We got yeah. it. I got it. We were 33. What's that? It may have. I just didn't wake up in time to see it. <laughs> Thursday. The chance of it, huh? What am I looking at? It's an Indian head, man. Check it out. Yeah, that's super cool. It's little tiny. It's little bitty. It's pretty sweet. That is pretty cool. Yeah. It's a teeny tiny little <laughs> buffalo. Check it out. Buffalo. Another buffalo. I like them. Them are cool. I like buffalo nickels. And there's a scratcher in here. I don't know what state it's for. We can scratch it. New York. New York. Yeah. I have a winner that I need to send back to him. You got a winner? Congratulations. Went up to five, 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 five. Electroplated AU. I think I took my eyes inside and then bring them back. And, and also in the bag. We have a bag of Peter. Hey, we're going to get into the, in a little while. We'll pan it out. That was pretty fine stuff. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like dusty. It was just real small. Like there wasn't any big, big pieces. Well, no. You worked for that. Yeah, I know. I had to work for it, for sure. It all adds up. Lucky I even panned it. <laughs> it's good stuff, Mega Dog. Much appreciated. Oh. Just heavy AU plated. Bam. Wait a minute. Kappa. Kappa. Oh. I'm pretty sure I ain't got this. I got a two. TWO trade token. Don't tread on me. What's the scratch you're looking like, Benzo? Don't hold us in suspense. Well, it says so. What's the rules on it? Says is it get three like symbols or get three of take five. I don't think I got no. Let's 
mascot shark. Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh well, maybe the next guy wins. Just says good night, Rose. Hi, Katie. Hi. Hi. She did say goodbye this time. Oh, Buffalo is awesome. Oh, there's someone here. We got a sticker. Oh, and it goes in the sign book. Boom. Boom. Got the mega dog sign. I'm going to put on a special stack now. I think I got one this time. I think we got our packages before he got the uh, stickers, JP. Oh. Oh, there's a, a tiny starfish stuck in like recognize some stickers. Those are pork rat pants. Yeah. <coughs> Make it go. What up, Chef B? Chef, what's happening, Chef? Yep. We're just chilling out here in the shack. Got me a little hey, drink. Chef. Chef, you coming up Saturday? That was the plan. <laughs> Fantastic. Carl, so I got your package today. Thank you, buddy. Be safe on the road, Carson. Heck yeah. On the road. What up, go fam? Got Chef V in the house. Got Brad showing up here. We got Thomas nine oh seven. This is true. Stroke the kitty. Stroke the kitty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's so needy. My cat is posted up in an open window and just don't even mess with her right now. She's kind of going through something. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee if Rose's cat knew we were all in the room, it wouldn't be there. <laughs> oh, this this guy, he would. He has no shame. Zero shame. And he loves people. <laughs> Yeah. You'll take lovings from anybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it feels weird. I, <laughs> I bet. Look at all that skin. Jaw on everything. But... What do you know? Can't imagine. Get a little sun. Ooh. Notice. He's like, what? <laughs> Who's that guy in the corner? <laughs> we don't know, Jeff. The the weather forecast is iffy. Yeah, looking looking like rain. Some and uh, it's going to keep a lot of people away, and I don't blame them. I mean, no. you got to do what don't you got to do. Yeah. You know, some don't people will still go and make the journey. And... Yeah, get those positive vibes out there. We ain't going to rain on Saturday. But, yeah, I'm going. No matter. That's right. You're going to be wet from the waist down anyway. Snow. Yep. Yeah. I'm Rain, Jake. Huh? Yeah. Jeff said he cut his too. Yeah, you gotta cut it back every now and then. I got, I guess. Never. Yeah. JP says never. 
He cuts about five, six inches off every year. <laughs> but you can't hardly really tell it. <laughs> But it grows back. Hey, you're going to get wet. Nancy's coming. What? Sweet, Nancy. Oh, yeah. Nancy Nancy talked about it. It. What? Little rain never stopped her. Right. Yeah, that's that's the other thing is like lot, some prospectors like as long as lightning and tornadoes. I mean, we're already in the water, splashing ourselves constantly, and nothing's ever dry. I mean, what's well, different? <laughs> Just when it's cold, the rain is rough. In the summer, we got a little bit more about electricity. Hunt That's, camp when road, over, man. That's when you look over at Pinger and go, more wood, Pinger, more wood. <laughs> more wood. Do I need to bring my chainsaw? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's all cleared out. Wow. It's, there's a lot of places down there I just barely recognize right now. I think they went through with a chainsaw, and then the last flood just pushed everything through. We have to find some somewhere. Nancy says she just don't know where to meet up with you at. Oh, hunt camp. Hunt yeah. camp. Hunt camp road. Yeah, the, you can type that in. Oh, GPS knows what the hunt camp is. You are a hunt camp town. Of, you are. A... Nancy's car camping. Yeah, well, there's a lot of neat places to pull off and camp around there. There's a lot of neat places down around in there you can pull off and camp. And there's a campground right at Hump Camp. Yeah, and that's where bathrooms are. It's nice. Yeah, there are bathrooms there. Well, kind of. There are... Uh, I don't think there's uh, room. There's not sinks. Yeah, no, no faucets. That kind of bathroom. There's a toilet there. <laughs> Better put toilet. Yeah. Well, push up. If you got to go, you got to go. That's all there is to it. Man, those We've got guys running so water there at the hunt camp, but it it's, comes out just a spigot there or something there, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe. I saw somebody getting a bucket of water down there over the hill. <clears throat> Jeff dipped a pan tonight. Yeah. Shitter is a shelter. <laughs> He's in the woods. He's in the field by the barn. All right, Mega Dog got that. <laughs> hey, Guido. Guido. It's still me. Believe it or not. Rig. Scratcher is ready to go. That's forced perspective. <laughs> He's a big boy. Yeah. Yeah, he is a big boy. Outhouse of Michigan. <laughs> Outhouse I grew up in didn't have but three sides. We couldn't afford a door. Damn, Pinger, that's bad. Man, that was cold, huh? You take your forearm and knock the damn frost off the seat, buddy. Mm. <laughs> WK prospecting in the house. Happy birthday. 
Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, WK. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What was your birthday, birthday. dude? You had a birthday then? Little Dan Dan. Dance. Birthday dance. Good stuff. Fried chicken and tater salad. <laughs> That's a good one. Really? Bella? Yes. Old fashioned picnic. I'm, in a few minutes, I'm going to set up the pan station. I got to get the water set. We'll just move this stuff around a little bit. We'll get in there and we'll start panning this bag. I heard it's a little tough. I'm looking forward to that. I really am. Happy cake day. If I had cake. Yeah, yours yours might be different. I don't know. Sure. But happy cake day. Happy I mean, cake day. I need to get some cake. I have to go make it myself. <laughs> but I have the skills. I can make cake all day. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> that, that I'm enamored with this little this little thing right here. This little tiny buffalo is just too cute. Tiny little buffalo. <laughs> Listen to go again. Where's that? There's the lost it. It's just so dark in here, it's hard to keep up with stuff. But if I lighten it up, it don't look good at all. And you're, I'm pretty bright on your end here because of this screen. But for the mirror, I can't really see too much anything. It was another little thing. I lost the silver one. Well, darn. All right. All I have to do is get... When I stand up and get the light on and get the camera ready, we'll find it. Okay. You want to see some gold? I want to see some gold. We got Thomas, gold. the thing about a blue board styrofoam, I'd be afraid that thing would bust ass and fall in the damn hole. You'd be in a predicament then. <laughs> yeah, you'd be up shit to your shoulder, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. I'd rather have a oh, on the seat than, than, than shit on my shoulder. Well, back then, they didn't have blue board. That's true <laughs> that, bro. <laughs> you got a point. No, no seed at all, she said. <laughs> it is, they just had a hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them didn't have it. No. I killed deer out of it. Well, I always carried the rifle when I went to mine. <laughs> That's when they always come by when your pants is down. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they know when you're vulnerable. <laughs> I fooled him. Ooh. 
Wow. Look around here, like almost every little pan's got something in it. Yeah. That's the way mine was for a while. Ooh, Ooh shit. It's not good stuff either. I got a big pile of sand out back. What, a kitty litter box? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Nancy, it's so funny you're saying that as you guys are all talking about outhouses i'm like i love indoor plumbing so much <laughs> yeah it's great isn't it? yeah i had i had a an outdoor johnny houses i think 85 was when i moved out of the holler i was Just a little bitty starfish. Huh? I know it's a little surprise star. Yeah, oh, one fell out. Surprise. It was just a wee little thing before it left us work. Sweet. Nancy, Nancy thought the toilet would suck her in. <laughs> I feel that way about airplane toilets. Right? <laughs> they seriously do have some vacuum on those. Yeah. <laughs> Almost had our tickets today. Uh oh, uh oh! But to fly back, we had to uh, spend the night in Denver. I mean, that man—that's the way it's looking. It's looking like it's going to have to be an overnight trip, unless you want to pay out the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Denver Airport's not one I would want to stay at. <laughs> eh, there's worse. Yeah, yeah, I, I probably know the Denver airport airport just as good as I know the St. Louis airport. Can't you can't you uh, get things at the airport? Sleeping poo. Uh, probably not. I don't know. You'll have I think till a certain time, and then everything closes at like eight o'clock. Really? Yeah. But yeah, I'm thinking I, I I found one that was overnight in in Charlotte. I have the overnight in Charlotte. I'm thinking I might just do that and have her just come pick me up. People do that sometimes. I mean, that's yeah. people people will work that out. I get it. It's like, it's like an hour and a half mm -hmm. <laughs> drive versus me having to stay there until six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Like, why? To drive to Greens to fly to Greensboro? Yeah. <laughs> a 45 minute flight. <laughs> I have to stay overnight to take. Hour and a half from the house and you have to stay overnight. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna see how many miles I got. I might just use miles to get the flight. with American. Yeah, that was another thing. The flight back was on Frontier. Really? Yeah. You buying, what, one-way tickets then? No. 
No, the flight out was on American. And then when I oh. went to uh, do the flight back, my options, I picked uh, Frontier because it was the same price. Oh. American was higher, of course. Look, Grasshopper, man, appreciate it. Try the Greyhound. Huh, he, no. <laughs> I'm to tell you later, Chris Roberts. <laughs> so you must be like using like Trabago or something. <clears throat> They're buying one way tickets. That's the only way I think you get different airlines for a round trip ticket. This is on Hopper. Okay, yeah. So you're they're they're they're, they're putting you on one way one way tickets. I'm like, how are you flying do, two different airlines <laughs> with a round trip? <laughs> Let's look and see what we got for uh, flight prices. What? Bronzeville, Colorado. How long yeah. ago did you buy that ticket? I mean, well, either that or I mean, May May prices might be different. Let me uh, Google flights. Here we go. Here we go. I'm here to let me go just say Denver. Departure. Just... He said April and May is the cheapest to fly into Denver. Yeah, they're all like two hundred bucks. Yeah, one hundred eighty-six bucks. April third or April twenty-third, April twenty-fourth, April thirtieth. One hundred eighty-five bucks into Denver. May seventh, May fourteenth. Tuesdays. Tuesdays into Denver is cheap as hell. Oh. Yep, straight up cheap as mm -hmm. we need to be going to Sacramento. SMF, whacking with a skillet, whacking with a skillet. Uh oh. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> going to Sacramento, uh, April twenty third, one hundred and eighty six dollars. <laughs> need that price in July. Gosh darn sunshine. It's costing more money. What day are you leaving, Scott? The 24th? 24th. 393 is what it's selling me. That's not bad. Jeff, I wouldn't trust it, man. <laughs> Three fifty an hour or two hour layover in Dallas. Get there at ten fifty PM. Yeah. Yeah, I can't find an AM flight. Uh, I found one on American. It's a two hour and forty seven minute layover in Denver, but I get there I leave at seven eighteen and get there at one twenty two three ninety six. That'd be awesome. Have plenty of time to get our car and hit a couple places, get camp set up. Rose is talking about 
try and be out there the day we get there so she can be our our uber and we don't need to rent a car we just mm -hmm. pay rose to be our uber mm -hmm. i'd have to make it into camp and drop my stuff off and then double back i think is the only way i could do it because i'm going to be loaded to the brim Scott Sharp, small, we can fit him in tight place. <laughs> I can ride on the top. <laughs> I was just looking at cargo carriers. Yeah. On the top? Yeah. <laughs> Park Rat Pat in there. recommended not doing it, but honestly, I need a little more space. I need a little bit more space, and she has no towing capacity. Do you have a little trailer hitch on it? No. Oh. And they don't recommend putting one on there. I looked oh. it up. Oh. Well, maybe you just get a different vehicle then. That's another that's another possibility. One that has a little trailer hitch, you can put one of them cargo carriers on the back. Put your cooler on at least. That gives you that much more room. Uh Pat recommended taking out my front seat. Yeah. Well, you take out the be better off. Yeah, um, I I totally agree agree with you, but I think that would I, you lift up to like the gas tank and the fuel filter. You know, there's I don't think it would be possible to to get the back seat out, or or I'd have to build a base if I did. Well, yeah, I think you just get a different vehicle if that's feasible. I mean, Damn. wouldn't be able to get that much gas mileage, but. You know, honestly, I'd, well, I'd, I'd sacrifice a little bit of gas mileage just for a little bit bigger and towing capacity. There's honestly, if I'd gotten a Kia, I could have still been getting pretty decent gas mileage and had a bigger car. And I probably had a little bit trailer hitch on it at least. Mm -hmm. Because the a box topper, which is 12 cubic feet allows me an additional 28 pounds that's not a lot oh no i'm so sorry max load capacity uh, 110 i guess the weight of it is 28 pounds 110 is not bad anybody have experience with those toppers no I see quite a few of them, though. I do, too, yeah. Almost anything on top of your vehicle has got to be super secure. Is that it? So everything, you'd have to tie it down so if I break, uh, like Guido I have a heavy break, suck. they don't fly out of it. Yeah, Guido says they suck. Yeah. <laughs> Brad says they cut the gas mileage down a ton. Huh. Uh -huh. Chris Roberts says he sees a few on the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a good idea, Rose. Oh, man. I'm going to have to get really good at Tetris. <laughs> oh. I got the Game Boy if you need to borrow it and Tetris. <laughs> yeah, that would help. But also, got to rethink how to downsize even more. Well, not necessarily. I mean, you're only talking about this one. This one trip needn't be a, a Uber for people. <laughs> oh, and I don't mind dropping stuff off. I'm talking about that whole road trip and the amount of space that I'm going to have in that car, like in general. Be all right, though. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make it work. <laughs> <laughs> Just make it to where you can crawl in. And lay down. That's all you need to do. It doesn't have to be a lot of space. It really doesn't have to be a lot of space. I just didn't have a, a lot of practice from the Bash Aversary, which is the first time that I I packed up. So I need to practice it, to be honest. 
Put your cooler I got us covered. I got us covered this year, Rose. Oh yeah. Nice. On what? At the Bath University. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, Hanger has uh, already called and reserved uh, a cabin, and he was going to reserve the big cabin, but somebody has already reserved it for. No kidding. The one that Angela and I stayed in. That's no, the one I got. That's oh, okay. the one he's got. He wanted to get the big one. Yeah, with a bathroom in it. And the porch. Yep. It's gone. Somebody, somebody already got already, it. Somebody already got it. How rude. Right? That's what I thought. I'm going to talk to James. Be like, James. Yeah. I thought, I thought we was better than this, man. Yeah, yes. they just opened. They just opened last weekend. Yeah, five days ago. Somebody could have re-rented it last year. That they, they don't do that. that same they, same they don't, person. They supposedly don't do that. Supposedly, uh, you've got to be the one calling the first morning they're open. Because no I tried that. Kidding. I tried to do that when I left last year. Yes. Finger says no more tent camping for him this coming year. <laughs> no. Well, mm -mm. well, the cabin yeah. you got is still quite comfortable, Pinger. It's warm and it's cool. Like it's got both options, which is nice. Yeah, I just, I just thought we'd have a hangout. You know, it's not that I don't mind the big sitting up that big ass tent, but yeah, I would have for sure snagged your bathroom a couple times. Yeah. But it's not that far walk, so. Yeah, it's really not that bad. I still love that campground. And I, their showers are just fine. And you can pee off the porch. Yeah, you can use Unless my bathroom anytime, Rose. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Unless you walk up there and the one's full and then you walk on up to the storefront and it's full and you're sitting there going, where do I go now? Well, that, you definitely gotta you gotta you gotta hit the family handicap one before you do any walking. <laughs> yeah. That's the one I go and do that big middle one. It's privacy yeah. is so nice, yeah. Get the gold on the drying stand. Grasshopper says tent's a luxury compared to some of the places Uncle Sam had us sleeping. <laughs> Thermal, Thermal City, City yeah. Thermal City. Yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Except when you're trying to get the big cabin. That's lame. Yeah, I thought so. I was like, oh, man. I thought I might just stay on the hell with it. I can't. Right beside that big-ass cabin and shit all night. <laughs> MJ. MJ. What's up, MJ? Sorry about the dog. Huh. I just saw a little something coming outside that rock. I don't want to look at it. U.S. finalizes rules to make vehicles electric or hybrid within eight years. Oh. Yeah, we need to pry that Chevrolet out of my cold, dead hands. <laughs> it was a heavy, very metallic-looking little rock. A little, I don't know what's growing out of it. Marble, calcite. Mm -hmm. Jeff said he only lives 25 miles away from Thermal City. I love that area. Marion. Talking about our middle of October, Jeff. Uh, gentlemen, I'm starving. I'm going to go heat up some, some leftovers. Yeah. Back. But uh, Benzo, if you need to kick me, go ahead. Oh, you're good. All right. I'll be back in a bit. Awesome. We'll see you later, Rose. Just chilling here in the Bonanza Shack. We just panned out that bag. That was pretty fun. 
I just went ahead and kept dumping it to the end. I checked the end there. It was I got it all. It's over there drying. Some good looking gold. We'll look at it in the microscope. See, look like there's some interesting pieces in there. That was a rock we're looking at there that was in there. I thought it was a little interesting. So we took a look at that. We'll throw our nugget back up there. We'll take a good close look at that nugget. We'll flip it back over on the other side. Since that's the last side we've seen. All right, I wonder whose nugget this is. It could be yours. That's a big old monker. Everybody was guessing what it looked like earlier. You can't even get the whole thing in there. Where we go? No, zoom out. Yeah, <laughs> zoom out a touch. I'm gonna get the lights on it better. Oops. Oops. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's okay. See a lion, Jeff says. Chris Roberts says he likes that nugget, huh? So do I. No doubt. Okay, Benzo, send twenty dollars. Yes. Sweet, I'm in. Oh, Chris Roberts, no. I'll we'll see it in my collection. The Benzo uh JP's on roll. Busy AF snow has melted this last week, and we are making moves like Chinese dudes. Yeah. <clears throat> Nancy got a camper at Thermal City. But she lives in Georgia. Grasshopper Cruz knows a plumber that works for beer and broth sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nancy, nuggets are hard to find. Uh oh, Chris Roberts had a blizzard on the way home. Chris Roberts, call in. This is NC, right? The Lucky Strike in that area, too. Yeah, Lucky Strike's right down the road. Yeah, Lucky Strike's, what, about a mile or less up the road? Yeah. Yeah. I think Lucky Strike on the creek runs into thermal. Yeah. Yeah, I, I missed thermal and turned around and lucky straight to driveway. Yeah. You must be coming in from the other direction. Yeah, I come in from the uh, actual side, I guess. Yeah, you come in from the other side, the other end. Down that yeah, line. going around that curve. That that oh, my bad. I was muted. There's a uh, hashtag. Hop on it. Whoa, he was loud. Oh, I can't. Can't hashtag. 
<laughs> Maybe I can. I just got to go over to the good side. <laughs> Bain Mountains. Bain Mountains on that creek too, isn't it? Bain Mountains up on the yeah. top. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Roberts needs the link. I don't know. I've never been anywhere besides Thermal. <laughs> <laughs> over there <laughs> i've always pulled in thermal and never left until i was going home yep and was happy about it <laughs> <laughs> we'll change that this year grease monkey nah man why we don't want to go up there unless you're going to Bain mountain yeah yeah taylor's right gone. down Yeah, it all lays in that little valley. Or that little Box Creek. Go to Box Creek with the Raptors. Jeff says he likes Thermal better than Lucky Strike as well. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't know why, but I, I, I went to Thermal, Thermal City first and liked it and didn't see no need to try anywhere else. And see, we went to Lucky Strike first for, for the Gold Festival that one year way back when and went to Thermal City next and never never went back. I mean I've been back for some gold festivals and stuff, but as far as to go there and do anything, no. Uh I mean, no. when they're just a when yeah, you're just a mile apart, I mean what's what there's not that big of a difference. Yeah. In location. The ranch. <laughs> well, this is my bedtime. I'm going to hop off here. Got sharp. All right, All right, you got sharp. Thanks for hanging out. Hope to see Later, you buddy. soon, buddy. Yes, sir. It's going to be fun. 940 on the dot, baby. 940 on the dot. <laughs> yeah. I'm pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I'll let you know about when I find out uh, what time I'll get off. Rock on. All right, brother. Everyone See have you, a good Scott. evening. See you, Scott. See you, Scott. Make sure you get that hashtag in there. Okay. Here's the, uh, we can't see it either way. See what we got. Roll it. Oh. One or six don't count. One. One. Three. Because one's, what's the point of doing one if you don't? So the third pick, we're about to roll here. All right, we got 20. We're going to go. Last chance to get in. I'll give you five seconds. Hashtag imposter. Dig in there. What's up, French? He's in it. Third spin, 22 in now. Boom, that just jumped. Hashtag imposter. Let's go. Third draw. Draw one. Joy Brown. Guido. Guido. Oh, sorry, Guido. Guido. Second draw. <laughs> Jen is in it. It's going to be a benzo. Watch out, benzo. Jen is in it. Joey Brown, he's going to wait for his backlash is going to be brutal. Here we go. Congratulations to this is the winner. Yeah. Win this piece of silver in my hand. Silver for the win. John Ironman wins John the silver. Ironman. Silver chat, John Ironman. Huh, that's from his karma from earlier on the silver chat, I bet. Karma. Karma. A lot of fun. Congratulations to the chat. John Ironman. Got some silver kickback. Oh, there it is. 
was looking everywhere for you. Couldn't find you nowhere. Yeah, there we go. I'm mute. That's why the dogs and sirens start on. Golf girl did not win this time. Nope. <laughs> Golf girl. <laughs> Catch your breath. Hey, Carl. where are you going, Finger? Huh? Oh, you saying hi to Carson? Oh, I thought you was trying to tell us bye. I was like, no. No, I was just waving to Carlson. Rose is eating Carson. She'll be back shortly. No. I think for in honor of Easter coming up and it's coming up quick, we're going to play some of those Easter races that are there. I'm trying to get that thing centered. Hey, Terry. Hey, Terry. Yes, yes, Carlson. It was in one piece, buddy. Well, that's great news. One piece is always great news. Most of Carson's packages come in whole. I've seen a few not, but. Uh, well, all the gold was gone out of it. <laughs> oh, no. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> it's, in, it's in the safe now. <laughs> Congratulations. Find a better situation. Okay. Ain't working. <laughs> I had an easy three to four ounces in there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> and then it's a shame that the post don't want to ensure it. Yeah, that would have been a signature package there. Yeah. Ounces. Certified. Carson says to the moon. <clears throat> and that's right. Woo, that's right, Carson. That's right. That's, Jeff, Jeff I'd use, no, we just use the wire ones or. Oh, sorry, Benzo. You're good. Y'all just. I know you're back. <laughs> yeah, those Arbor classifiers are high. Yeah, what they're ninety dollars? $90? Yeah, they did. By the time shipping, ninety or something. Well, you and you can't pack them in a backpack good if you're traveling or you know going. No, it's anything. home. It's home is in the bucket, and that's pretty much where it has to stay. Yeah. 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 
Well, it don't even go all the way down inside of it. You can't even carry it inside a bucket either. So I don't. Because the handle don't come up, right? Right. And don't, the handle don't even fold over. That's right. I prefer to be using Scott Sharp's Raptor and no classification necessary. You just toss it and go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Yeah, the green classifiers. I just bought one there at Thermal City the or last year in October. Found that big deep one. Yeah. Yeah. Bought it up because mine. Oh mine, they were just about yay wide. Yeah, I got a whole set of them goes down to I don't know how many, like two hundred mesh or four hundred mesh or something like that. Yeah, you can get them to go way down there in mesh. I bought them from a I half think, inch, a half inch down, and but I think the bit the finest one I have is like a hundred mesh. I, but I don't use but that like the eighth inch or maybe the sixteenth. I don't, you know, you, you, when you classify down to an eighth inch, that's plenty small to run through a sluice. For the big classifier, at the, yeah, I bought the big one. At, uh, not the, not the trouble. <laughs> that's a big classifier right there. <laughs> Play it. No, I thought I heard the alarm go out for a second there. Was that play? My it? phone. Oh. Yeah, I got the big classifier at thermal for I think it was twenty bucks. That's what uh, Lee uses as a homemade bucket classifier. He uses it. <laughs> Some of Scott Sharp. <laughs> Scott Sharp does the same thing. Yeah. Um, I just find it those little thin bucket classifiers, like you was talking about. I can put two of those in my backpack with two super sluices. And carry a five gallon bucket and go. Yeah. That's just easier for me. I don't, you know, somebody else might. Yeah. It's, it's, it's personal preference and where you're, where you're prospecting at. <laughs> Chris, you have to call them. Uh, I think they got a couple more cabins there, but I oh, didn't well. ask. Don't wait. There's, I don't think there's any down there below the showers. There's some above the showers, I think. There's one, ain't there? Yeah, one or two, I'm not sure. That's a pretty good grab. Two or three of them you use a lot more than the others. Yeah, I got some of those mini classifiers like you got, Brad, but I just use them around the house for doing that mailbox panning. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I just bought. Yeah. Them. I just. Yeah, I use these all the time. Yeah, I different ones. Yeah, I got those. I use those at the house, but I don't carry them with me. No. No. Well, no, I don't. I don't. I use the big classifier for like when we do clean up after the weekend or whatever. If we're doing something in camp. Yeah, I, when I'm traveling, I just take those little, what about a, what, a, four, a three inch classifier depth or something like that? They They're supposed to be four, but, but yeah, four is yeah. high. <clears throat> I 
I guess it's a quarter inch or maybe you know, I carry a quarter inch and an eighth inch when I come up to your area. And I'll probably leave one of them in the truck. <laughs> I probably brought a half inch usually. I might have brought a half inch. We're going to call it 10 o'clock on these. So we got what, just like five or six minutes and we're going to pull the banner down on that early night. So we did a live stream earlier today and it's like been on a lot. So, um, yeah, why yeah. are you hiding that uh, new new beard, man? Imposter, um, imposter. imposter. there's an imposter in the Benzo Shack. <laughs> yeah, you probably get some beard hairs with your nugget. I don't know, <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll brush them off. Yeah, they'll be all right. <clears throat> but, uh, I'm gonna add another piece of gold to this for a uh, first loser there's a grand prize on first loser the first loser gets a nice piece of gold too and oh. if it goes up between now and then now in the next five minutes that second piece of gold just gets bigger because i got i got options oh damn we're starting at like half gram and we're going up from there i got a point six nine. i got a point six nine i put in there Ooh, I, I need to auction that point six nine off one night, don't I? <laughs> What's up, Pushy? I'll come back. Make y'all look at me again. But I got the light on, so it looks terrible. Turn the light out. Yeah, we need to see your beardless <clears throat> face. Yeah, you look. You look different when you get your lips back. Yeah, and then I went and trimmed this all up and even this out and zip, zap, zap. I didn't take a razor to it though. No, you don't want you don't want to kill your face. Yeah. No. Kiss monkey. Can't see that. Here we go. I'll blow it up. Dang. I believe you got a job interview. <laughs> we get one now, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. I haven't really been going or denied or anything because of that. It's just uh, time to change it up. Time to mix mix it up. Yeah. I always mix it up. <laughs> MJ's cat whistling over. <laughs> <laughs> like a brand new pen and like a bad pen it just keep turning up all right last well, call five minutes job interview and court date <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna start typing it in uh, start typing yeah mm -hmm. so I'm gonna turn me off again. Turn the light on. So, oh, and all right. We're doing um like uh, Eastern races. So it's the first of the Eastern races tonight. No, nope, kinda. <laughs> Conwood, what's happening? Nah, it's no shame. You got the GQ from Nancy. No court. Thank you. No court. None of that. <laughs> Carson says he seen it first, MJ. You can't have it. <laughs> Carson calling Dibs. MJ. <laughs> 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 Carl, he's funny. He's funny guy. Funny guy. He's funny. <clears throat> this is going down. So I watched. I watched the. Uh, the, the new Dave Turin show last night. Oh, it's out? Yeah. It's on Discovery Go. It 
That's pretty good. We got makes me really want metal detect for gold in California. Yeah, we got a whale in this one, guys. Yeah, this guy found the one crystallized. It sold for two and a half million dollars. Wow. Yeah, Bernie won't be coming to JP's bar anymore. He's going to be going to the real bars. Say what? <laughs> oh, Terry Curry. You be looking in the mirror and think you can hit the younger bars. Mm. Mary, I saw you over there at I think I'm just Iron looking. Antler. Can't. Don't be giving me that. I think I'm looking for you. I'm not looking for trouble. No trouble. <laughs> Terry, Terry, Terry. Oops. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Man. Got 102 K cups from Costco. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Mary, you were not here. Oh, oh, you were you were visiting Joseph and the Iron Allers. Okay, but you couldn't you couldn't come see Benzo. You just had to wait till you were home. Yeah. Just giving you shit, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm gonna give you a hug, Freedom Fest. It's coming. Yep. It's 58 days. It's getting here quick. I'm going to start mowing a couple yards. Get things lined up to be free for that. We're covered in onion grass. We need to mow. It's time. Yeah. <clears throat> My neighbor mowed today. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, she did. Uh -oh. She mows. He don't. Oh. oh, I thought the neighbor mowed yours. No, no, she mowed hers. Woo, MJ about to turn the heat up in here. Uh-oh. Woo-hoo, yeah. Uh -oh. Brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> yeah. Brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> Mary sleeping in Denver may or may not suck. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Oops. We're in the 30s, um, Cottonwood, but we were in the 20s the last two days. Got that big one I gotta mow, and then I gotta work on this little one down the street. Golden. All right. Probably oh. happy wanted to do anything. I'd hire him to be the weed whacker. Right at three o'clock. Look at that. We got um. Let's go double check. Got to double check everything. All right, I'm starting my double checks. It's 10 o'clock right on the dot. Yeah. Oh, it's 10 02, sir. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Right. So are you gonna keep it like that or are you gonna grow your beard back right away? What you what you think? It's thinking? growing right now. Okay. <laughs> are you having remorse? No. I mean, there was a couple of times I went like this, and I'm like, well, I'm probably going to do that a few times. And yeah. I can't imagine. But, you know, I wore it like this a lot. So I mean, I'd, I'd, cut, I'd cut it 
I cut it short just for shits and giggles, but yeah, I know. Uh uh. Woo! 21, Cass says. Feels like 13. Dang. 56 like down here. Jeez, yeah. Geez. I guess Cass really is wanting MJ to turn up the heat with temperatures like that. Right. <laughs> yeah. It was semi nice today. It was. Cloudy, getting ready to rain, though. Yeah, I had a lot of stuff. Always to bullshit. They get to really enjoy the outside. But. I done bought a bunch of made plants. Hmm. Too early. Yeah. For me, for me, in my. Area. I think, we're plant pota- I think we're planting next week. We're going to plant potatoes and stuff next week. I think the fr- last freeze, we might be safe. We yeah. could have planted them already, but we're, we waited. Sorry. I just got plants. I hadn't got them in the ground yet. But- I just messed up. I look that light. <laughs> Blind. I can't see a bloody thing. I carry my good readers inside, and I ain't got them. I'm struggling. My point extras. 56 Ooh. here, Mary or Nancy. When uh, we were installing those floors in uh, my bedroom and moving furniture, I found my missing pair of glasses. Right. Really? Mm-hmm. I lost those a while ago. Ah. We're going to take that banner down. So we did last call. I did double check. There it is. <clears throat> we got this on. Uh, now it goes into the triple check. Just so want to double check this list with that list. And then I share it. Got Thomas. Got the Buffalo. So there's like 15 people, 15 states coming to Freedom Fest. Maybe more. Crazy. That is so cool. All right. And we're running races early at just after 10 o'clock tonight. Look at that. Rock and roll. Yeah, monkey, you're right. And yes, there you go, Rose. We got 66. Lucky number 66. Benzo sauce. We got Thomas in there. We got Roberts with a lone buffalo. We got MJ with a double stack. That's our well. John Ironman with a stack. Just be cool. MJ with the double stack. What? Chef V and Rose with stacks. We got Pinger and Brad in there. And JP and Wrench with stacks. We got Carson with a large stack. We got Scott Sharp and Joey Brown coming in with singles. So we got a few single outliers in here today. So we got 66 in there. What we're going to do is we're going to put a race timer on this for the big, for the whole, the big nugget to go first. We're going to run, um, 3.33, 3 minutes and 33 seconds. Yeah. And uh, for the second race, we'll re- reduce the time. We're going to cut the music in case they try to copyright claim me for that crap. So and, weird. Uh, yeah. We're going to shuffle it up at least three times. Three. Three times shuffled, and we're going to send it. And there we go. We got so many hoppers. We're doing the sack race. Hippity hop, hippity hop. We got spoon races coming. So this Easter time, May Day, all that stuff, that's when you always played these games. Um, In school, like, right? Yeah. I used to like Field to wear my waist oh. and you'd little ribbons. Field day. Back when second grade was fun. 
right? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's like what, like, yeah, eighth grade. Back when uh, math was math. I remember field day. <laughs> field it's day like, was wrong. It's like field day changed. About you like, can't play kickball, you know? About you puberty. We all did those <laughs> three-legged deals. Yeah. Yeah. Three-legged race. Red Rover. The wheelbarrow. Yeah, Red Rover, Red Rover. Send some some bitch over. Egg yeah. race. <laughs> sack race. <laughs> The oh. one and only broken bone I've ever had was from that game, Pierre. Nancy, <clears throat> that's wrong. Brandon that Carson, that. MJ, Pinger, Thomas, John Iron. Nugget. Oh, I'll put it in a little capsule and you'll get. The new, the new, the nice sticker for this year, and the new button that everybody's been wearing. I got mine on right here. That's a lucky button. You should try to dig and go for one wear one of these things. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last time I did, it was like, holy! I was like finding gold and other stuff and better things and big gold. I found a piece too big to snuff. It's sitting over here. It's like, huh, all right. I like this button. There we go. I'm going to wear it again. See what happens. JP, do I have your permission to give said person in Australia your address? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. PO box is oh, about on the about uh, page. Carson out front, MJ and JP up there on the top. We got a John Ironman, a couple John Ironmans on the bottom there. Just bouncing up together. Got 101 on the timer. It's counting down. We got over 30 people in the house. And Bonanza Shack is rocking on Wednesday. Smash that light. Boom. Boom. We got nuggets going somewhere. Holy Cass, smokes. You're so funny, Cass. You're so funny. 40 seconds to go. Come on. We don't know who it's going to be. No, we Ooh, don't, but I'm, I'm hoping it's me. It's 30 seconds. MJ's what? coming up strong. We'll see what happens at the seven-second mark. That's when it all kind of switches and changes. Seven seconds, seven seconds, three seconds. What's going to change? MJ's, there's a lot of MJ's. MJ's oh. making a move. Ten seconds oh, to go. Oh, heard of MJ's. Heard of MJ's coming on strong. Heard of MJ's. John Iron. John Iron. Thomas Seven. Thomas, come on, man. Holy smokes. Thomas got the big nug. Thomas 907. Congrats. Thomas 907. He's been playing a lot of games over here and watching Brad win, but. <laughs> But uh, he finally come up with one, Thomas. I, I don't think he's won since January uh, Patreon or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, he's been playing on all of them, and I, th I think that broke a, sh a pretty good, uh, a pretty long streak for Thomas. So congratulations to Thomas. Uh, I think he was talking about he's been on a drought on when it comes to wins, and so we just busted that drought with a big old nug. Look at that. Holy smokes. Nice. Congratulations, Thomas. He'll call in <laughs> later, actually. Yeah, we're going to remove Thomas. We're going to race again. We're going to reduce the time a little bit this time to 2-2-2. Two, two, two. And we're going to shuffle three times, and this is for the Constellation Gold. Constellation Prize go. Constellation Prize Gold. It's still going to be more than a half gram nugget picker. What do you want to call over a half half gram deal? Whatever you want, whatever you have to call on that. That's big. Half, half gram single piece, whatever you call that. That's what it'll be. Because I appreciate how y'all come around and hanging out and uh, playing the games and talking about gold and. 
There's a new show out. We'll be watching that new show. Yeah, all the gold shows. Oh, what was that one? Uh, Terry turned me on to it. The gold buys and videotapes. Holy smokes, what a fun show to watch. I was into it. Like, how much of it is real? How much of it is fake? How much did the CIA take? There's a lucky guy. Thomas907, welcome to the Bonanza Shack. Going on. He's got a nugget coming his way. Uh, and I, I need an opportunity to send you something because you got your prototype mi rock and mineral brick right here. Oh, I'll show yeah. you. It's got some nice stuff in it. One minute left on the race for the next nugget. Next nugget. Oh, man, the time is flying. It is already towards the end of March, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be April 1st before you know it. We're going to have some shenanigans for sure. We've been in the mid-40s the last couple of days. Well, that one buffalo, lone buffalo out front. Okay, just be cool. Oh, Just be cool. Looks like he says Hank's wife. <laughs> That guy out front there. <laughs> Pinger up top. 18 seconds shuffle. We got Rich on the bottom. Rich in the middle. MJ's, oh, just be cool. He's coming up quick. Oh, smokes. He just bouncing. JP on the bottom coming up quick. Where's the hurt engine? Just be cool. Just, ran, just away ran off the screen. Uh oh, Garth. Oh, 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 my God. That's devastating. Carson, oh, my God. He got me by one jump. That was crazy. Just, I thought Just Be Cool was going to run away with it there. Holy hey, smokes. Shane. What's up, Shane? Yeah, Cass, we're still getting down to 20 at night, but we're up to like mid 40s during the day. We got wow. And I wrote the wrong name down. Son of a gun. <laughs> Dirty brothers in the house. Carson. Oh, man. I was, so, I was so amazed I wrote the wrong name down. I was like, holy. I've never seen that happen. And Pinger was right there. And Chris Roberts. Holy smokes. That was big gold, guys. Big gold. Going oh, out. God, what God, second point. Thomas and Dirty. Carson. Dirty brothers for the win. <laughs> there it is, Charity Brothers. Charity. Oh, ain't that funny? Yeah, you can't win if you don't also, play. John Ironman won earlier. That was pretty cool. So sweet. Double trouble right there. That's right, MJ. Yeah. Feels weird, guys. Hey, it's Benzo. What's up? Can't see me there. I am. <laughs> I watched. I watched the shave at work. We had a beard off party earlier today. Now I cleaned it up. Got it all clean for the for the season coming out. Get me some sunshine on my face. Get a little sun. I'm looking forward to getting a little sun. Makes you feel good. Nice. I want to do some exploring on the lake. Lake exploring. Definitely do some lake exploring this year. So cool. Well, I'm going to see if anybody else wants to come up hang out with us. Got a link out there. And I uh, throw the link out there. Boom. And uh, we'll keep on running live for a little while. But I pan that awesome. Thank you, Mega Dog555, five, 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 for the awesome uh, goodie bag. Um, there was some neat coins in it. There was a, a awesome like prospector like a copper gold eagle. They're all like miniature versions, and uh, those are really neat. And, like the mini mini buffaloes. Those are really sweet. Mini buffaloes. Those are those are really cool. I like those. It's cool. There is the link. Carson. How much y'all people are talking about snow? It's like, oh my god, 
It's like I'm thinking about getting my fishing license and seeing if I can get me some white bass and crappy when they start running up the Uari River. But boy, what are they? Like 35, 40 bucks? And you you gotta go out at the right time and get them. Mm. Go out in that big rock. If I go out there fishing though, I'd have to I want to take my sucker tube out there. Let's see if I can get some crevices or some pockets or something around that big boulder feature. When the water goes down this summer, I'm going to do a little bit more exploring around there. I'm just going to do a little digging. It's a good place. And I think I finally figured out, uh, like, you know, you ever been somewhere like 10, 12 years ago and you go back and it ain't exactly the way you remember it? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a big mystery in my mind about this place and Grease Monkey's heard me talk about it a lot and he wants me to go back there and he's always talking about and I think I got the places mixed up because I've tried to hit it a few times and I've gone in from a couple directions and I keep coming up short and I think I was somewhere else just on down a little bit. I think I was on another set. And that's the reason why I keep coming up short. Because I, I get to a spot. And but it's also because another spot looks exactly like it. So I get to the spot and it feels like I'm in the right area. But it's the wrong area. Uh-oh. Welcome. Chris Roberts on a buffalo. What's happening? Chris Roberts on a buffalo. So I can't wait to do, oh, look at that thing. I can't wait to do some exploring. I, maybe one of the, I think I've seen one of the bonuses get claimed. Good evening, everybody. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, that's the big button. That's the lucky button. Pretty sure that one I saw panned out when they tilted the back, one of the nuggets slid down the pan there. Pretty sure I saw that happen. I thought I seen one go out of the pan early on there. Yeah. That could have been a yellow rock. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, yellow uh, rock. Yeah, yellow rock. Yeah, that yellow ochre. It. Awesome. It's got, it's got the shapes and it's got the depressions and it's got like the dark parts too. And it, sometimes they just look too good. It's like, oh my god. It's like, <sighs> why would you be that way? Get yeah. so disappointed. Yellow. Oak. If you never dealt with yellow rocks, they're, they're aggravating. Oh, everybody's getting their bricks. There's a bunch I got of mine yesterday, like actually. Uh, everybody's got their bricks. It sounds like those are awesome. Oh, we got another boot. We're going to fly. Up there. Ready? Oop. Ready to throw? I was ready to throw. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, I got are a you ready? Oh, there. we got a dead. We got a dead spot. Nice. I guess the goal's the circle. Bram. Oh, oh. oh for the wind. The anger. We got a crop. Tag. My candle. My uh, prospecting oh. club meeting yesterday. Right on. More thicker. Nice. Yeah. Got the shirt and the sticker. Speaker? You got a speaker. 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 Yeah, check it. Eight set, eight set for 28 bucks. That is a good deal. Right. I asked, dude, I even said to him, I said, that's too cheap, dude. I go, that's too cheap. He goes, no, I'm good. And I go, really? I go, they're like 50 bucks cheapest I can find. Mm -hmm. About seven, eight bucks a, a unit. Yeah. Well, boys, I'm going to bed. Yeah. Oh, Chris Roberts holding up two bricks. Hope your knee feels better. I've got a finger. Night finger. Night finger. See you, Pinger. See you, buddy. So, See you, there was, 
guy that wrote this book, he actually was there. So I got him to sign it with my name in it. Cool. Who's the author? Dale Bascom. Uh, he's a historical guy in Utah, pretty famous. He's all about the Rhodes Mines. Corona. But I start bullshitting with him. Turns out he lives right down the road from one of the churches I take care of. Nice. Gives me a cell phone number and says, heck, me and you are the farthest one that live away, so come by my house anytime. I'll share with you everything you know. Awesome. Just about the valuable information to get. Brad rubbing elbows with authors and stuff. Well, so he was telling me that this canyon that I live next to, he's actually seen pea-sized nuggets come out of it. Oh, wow. Nice. And I said, I ain't never seen nothing bigger than a flake, you know, like a little flake. Well, if it's got little flakes, it has a possibility of a I can dredge it. That came. It's got a stream that runs all the summer. Pretty go. Pretty go. Yeah. Look, right there's a little buffalo. Little <laughs> buffalo. <laughs> Some wiry bits, bristly oh. bits, <clears throat> some weathered bits. There's a piece, a couple of nice pieces. Big feet, big feet. Shane, yeah. We're not, it's not an Australian bit where there's an ounce in it. <laughs> Too many pieces over two ounces. No, 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 nobody does. I've never found anything that big. I, I ain't even found it. My biggest is like 1.61. Oh, I'm just. I, I'm just enjoying watching the Gogo. I like that one with some red looking in it. Yeah. There's a couple pebbles in there. I didn't have my glasses. Some wiry bits. Wiry. <coughs> Ireland. Mike Whiting. Do it like that. Yeah. Oh, there's a pyrite cube mixed in there, too. I love pyrite cube. That's cool mixed gold. A little falcon or something in there. You see the eagle? I do. It could also be like an, another Egyptian, another Egyptian symbol too, if you want. <laughs> that's a mallard. <laughs> oh man, that's a mallard. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, man. oh man, that made my drink way too strong. Oh, oh charge, charge! Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do see it. Soon. A bird with weight, tiny bird, tiny, tiny bird. bird. That kind of twenty-four k gold chain. She's talking about people. Tiny tell you what, it's one way you can tell springs here because we got all the tiny birds are flying around and tweeting all over the place up here now. Tweet tweet. Not heavy and proud. Wednesday night hangout. Awesome, guys. You rock. The only time I'm happy it rains. Going After out the digging. Birds poop on the car. Sorry, Benjo. You coming out digging? Let's go out digging. 
I'm going to the point now where I kind of rest up a couple of days after I go digging hard. <laughs> truth. Or at least uh, before I can go digging hard again. I can do other stuff slowly at times. But hey, I go out and hit it hard. I go at it. Ain't no joke. I need to record more of that stuff. I'm going to record more of that stuff. I got a video coming out for y'all Friday. It's got a cool thumbnail. I'll just pull off the side of the road and throw some chill through the sluice box. See if I find some gold. <laughs> I, I did. I did. And uh, of course I did. Sure. No problem. But it's from a hole we cleaned out before a couple times. And then it just fills back in and we just paint it out. There's a little bit more. Whatever. Rock and roll. We we keep talking about going out there and getting down to where where, where we can that clay layer, but it's too deep. We never really followed through with it. Can you dredge there? No. Nah. Only sluice spot. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, that's right there beside the road. I was showing, you know, and if it was like a super rained out, we'd hell the group did. We might hit that area. Who knows? I was just right by the road and like you can run to your car. It got crazy. But hey, we're not going to get rained out and it's not going to be crazy. Storms. It's just going to be no. like a little drizzly. It said it was raining and it was, and it was, it was like a big storm all around and it just wasn't even raining. It wasn't even raining. Lies. I was close to it. Oh, prospecting, just sleep RPE. Nice pasture, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You need some less grass? Man, no, I need a fed and liked it. Keep <laughs> Get out of the Easter city for a minute. Easter lily. Yeah. I'll take a couple of hay bales up in that loft. That'll be all right. <laughs> Jeff, when I was with the Vixens, Angela edited most of our videos and she spent a significant amount of time on each video because we'd have a lot of footage to go through. So it was more time consuming than anything, but she'd spend a couple hours on each video, maybe less. Some, some went faster than others, especially if there were a lot of good finds. All right. So if we go to the after party, we get some else. I'm going to make my, one of my kids do editing for me. For any yeah. minor future video, free labor. Do it. Teach him how to do it. Yeah. He's yeah. already going. He's taking a uh, computer programming and all that type right now in school. And he said he wants to learn about making his own videos and all that. I was like, well, follow me around, record me, make videos. Yeah. Yeah. Good interest him. Why not? Frick yeah. Smash that log, everybody. I need some more likes where I'm at than I reach my, reach my goal. Oh, yeah. Can we even get there? <laughs> I've fallen in the tripod. So you need. Yeah, tripod does help, but I'd say don't buy anything special until you know this is something you want to do. 43, Richard Petty. No. MJ, camera people are important. Camera, you know what I'm saying? The Vixens had a lot of people that filmed with us behind the camera because they didn't want to be in front of it and still had a great time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah some mystery people. MJ's got a calendar to make. That's right. <laughs> New member, rock and roll, send it. Jeff, welcome. You get some cool little emojis now. We do a members thing every so often because it's so just so affordable. When we get more, 
uh, members. Get, I'm gonna start doing member lives and things like that. So the members grow, numbers growing, and that's great. Um, I wish I had better signal on location. That would be cool. Own location, members only video. What do you think about that? Live. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try it, especially now that they got new the new vertical live. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Uh oh, I panned out. Planned out. The mind planned. We got mine planned out. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Gold fam, Jeff. Okay. Oh, she wants to hear the rose giggles. <laughs> yeah, that is a thing now, Cass. This is a new feature. I was going to try it out. Uh, you ever tried this Baja Laguna lemonade? No. Uh, yeah. It's pretty damn good. It's got mango, mango lemonade flavor, Mountain Dew. Lemonade gives me heartburn. Yeah. Anything lemonade. Uh, new lemonade. I got some little stiff clamps I use to put the extender on the RPE. But I got two of them. Brad, that would just make my heartburn worse. <laughs> I got one of the old I school. I want to wait till they're a little more collectible and we'll auction that bad boy off. <laughs> RPEs, they work. Yeah. And they're lightweight. Yeah. Yeah. Very travel friendly. <laughs> I'm, stuck on my, I'm stuck on my vintage sluice right now. I think it's just, just don't let me down. More of a collectible RP. at this point. RP was right there. In there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Double dash. I take my RP sometimes. Especially in low flow situations. That's my go to. RPE. Problem there, I don't have much for low flow. Most of my rivers are flowing. <laughs> yeah. Or creeks. <laughs> you can just set that off on the side and run it. On the edge of the creek. <laughs> <laughs> up there you got so much flow you probably need those big metals sluices with the stones oh, yeah. you need yeah. the stones because you got to get out there in it it's all pebbles it goes from bank to deep yeah I think I the deepest that one up there at that one claim is about three foot deep guess that's what I need I need some stands for my for my yeah. pilot sluice, yeah, legs, something. I'm trying to do some. My see, all you got to do is you get the little things and you put the screws in them and you weld the weld them to it. So, so if, you, ones, if you? you look on eBay, you can buy the brackets already cut out with the. They have it so you can store the legs on them. You can buy, I think, twelve brackets for forty five bucks. Welcome. We got. I scroll down here. We got Jeff Rowe. Hey. Welcome. Howdy. Go on, man. Howdy. Howdy. We got oh, Brad, you... oh yeah, we truly got it. Man. Oh, we still the circle. Circle. Get a Twitter. 
What's the going on? What's going on, man? What's going on? I'm Can't in, hear you. I'm in the business as well, man. There we go. There we go. Cut mine off last week. Oh, boy. You oh, went full slick on Yeah, I'm not sure about this. I might not be able to go Saturday. There are going to be too many bald faces there. I'm not going. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Don't drink bourbon. Did he say he doesn't drink bourbon either? Uh-huh. This guy just shaved his face baby butt smooth. No, I'm definitely not going if he's going. <laughs> <laughs> There's a conspiracy <laughs> happening. No, it's good. I didn't shave. I just knocked my beard down to nothing. What do you mean you didn't shave? <laughs> I didn't pick a razor up and go. Well, that's close enough. Next yeah. That's pretty. Yeah, I got pretty close. Close to uh, whatever you got looks pretty damn close already. I got to shave around my dimples. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, Jeff, you coming Saturday? Yeah, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise too bad. Well, it might rise a good bit, that's for sure. <laughs> it might send us to the feeders, but we can still have fun up there. I got a stretch. I've been meaning to go up there and tear all the boulders out and suck or two. But... Either that or just go to Thermal on Sunday. Yeah. They're open now. They opened last weekend. Yeah. Narrow. Need more coffee. Coffee? No. Drink coffee for last night. Now. Dimples or nipples? Mm-hmm. Really, man. Anybody Nerd. heard? Anybody heard how Bill's wife Mary is doing from Caroline Prospecting? No. Uh, last I heard, it, oh, oh, I haven't heard any. I, I don't know the extent. Uh, I just know that when I talked to him, uh, his people had told me that she was in bad health. And, of course, I wished him well on his air, and I just didn't know the extent of what her problem was. And I just was hoping she was doing better, you know. I, I don't know. It's been a while since I seen him, and that's, that's what I heard last time I was around as well. I was like, oh, I hate him. That's terrible. Terrible thing. Yeah, Bill's a good guy. We love we all love Bill. We don't do anything for him, that's for sure. Yep. Most of us met him. Well, plus he gave me this cool hat. Heck yeah. Oh, you got the new one. I got the old one. My well, letter. Just the old one? That's the new one. That's the new one. Okay. You got the new one. The new one's good. The letters are white on the new one. On the bottom, mine, mine are gold. They blend, they they pop out more on the white. I can I feel that in. I can get a gold pen and feel that in. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> I find mine. I keep losing it. Let me it up. I keep setting it down somewhere. And it'll disappear for a couple of days and then turn up again. Same thing over and over. But I lost it again. It'll turn up again. Oh man, Thomas! Congratulations tonight on your lucky win. And Carson coming in second, scoring the extra piece of gold. Nuggets going to Carson. Carson Nugs. We had John Ironman before that. Was the was it John Ironman with the with the chat win? Pretty sure it was. Pretty sure. It was. Yeah, it's John. I know my. Yeah, I got rid of yeah. my uh, my pen. My first pen died. So I found it. So cool. I think we're gonna shut it down. I think I'm exhausted from all this tonight. We ran it early and even eleven o'clock. <laughs> yeah, it's early. Yeah. So, uh, anybody got one? Anything they want to add? We'll just- Mm-hmm. Well, no, Mary, it's not your fee. Good night, Robinson. Good night, Robinson. You're right. MJ! 
<laughs> Jeff. Yep. He's the new uh, member, Mary. Uh, she's lost uh, who you are, so I was trying to inform her. Oh. Well, my name it was before I became a member was just Jeff Mays, and I wanted to be like Benzo, so I named my name Jeff Rowe. <laughs> and you gotta know Jeff right above you. All right. We can't have too many Jeff Rose. No, it is. Dennis calls him Jeff Rose all the time. Yep. Jeff Papa. Jeff Papa. I get that. Jeff Dunham. Yeah. No, just trying to make sure you know, Mary, so you follow along. Just want everybody on the same page. <laughs> That's great. Just have new faces on the panel. Yeah, I appreciate her asking, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> that way he gets to do a proper introduction. Knowing. <laughs> That's only one, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Jeff Rowe. Jeff Rowe. Yeah, he's Jeff Rowe. I'm Jeff Papa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's only one Jeff. <laughs> yep. So I had mentioned earlier in the text that I was a man in the Pacolette River today. Man, there's some beautiful places on that thing, but they wasn't a speck of gold in it. Oh, man. Ain't enough y'all had any experience uh, uh -huh. in this part of the state, but. Oh, yeah. I mean, I go to these places and I tell you what, you can do a test pan, not spec, test pan, not spec, then run a bucket and there's good gold in it. And you're like, well, uh, it's just so spotty, you know? Sometimes I know there's good gold there, and I, every time I do a test pan, it's just like I pick a bad spot or something. But when I run buckets, they're great. It's it's funny that way sometimes. Hmm. It really is. But it depends on where Not you're at. There's some, no, there's some places that, and then there's other places that every pan you pick's got some gold in it, some sort or another. There's, yeah. Can't miss, but sometimes oh, yeah. it's body. I went to UR a couple of weeks ago, uh, when it was so rainy mm -hmm. uh, two weekends ago, and went over there. So you go over the bridge and get in about a half mile, take a right, went up yonder, and there's another bridge. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. I walked yeah. in there and I did about 10 or 12 test pans, found a couple of specs, and it was raining, but you know, it was it was great. <laughs> Did you right. walk uphill or downhill? Downhill. So you went to the right? I went to the. Yeah. Well, no, no, I, went, I went to the left. So you so went, went upstream. Yeah, there's a big old tree across the creek up there. And, yeah. up, and that's where I was at. That's and the I, West Branch. That's and my I went way down. Yeah. Yeah, that big tree went down, came down, JP. I don't know if you know about that. The one at the corner, the one we panned under. Yeah. Oh, that came down. Yeah. 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 We we said it was going to. Yeah, we didn't know when, but it's going to, and it did. Eight thirty. Night we do. We're gonna hang Night out like till till nine or until everybody's too antsy and got too much gold fever and's got to get out. <laughs> That's the plan. And 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 I'm Jeff Ro. <laughs> That's every day, man. <laughs> Did you see his uh, comment before then? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said eight thirty. I'm okay. really glad there ain't too many Thomases in the group. I'm on my phone. I can't see any comments unless they <laughs> pop up. Yeah, with her. <laughs> the only other Thomas I got to worry about is on. I swear, the other day I seen Chris Roberts. Uh, not on his phone. I thought he was on the laptop. Oh, yeah. That was Jess's laptop. I'm not going crazy. And we got one oh, Jeff that knows how to find gold and one Jeff that don't know how to find gold. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're out, you're, you're out there know. in it, man. You're trying. That, that's what matters. I, I, I think I know what I'm doing, and then sometimes gold tells me something different. Yeah. Mm. You know, all it takes is to walk over it and be the guy who picks it out, man, or the lady, whomever, you know, just pick it up. I'm sure I'm sure there's more to it, but I mean, you got to be there. 
That's what I'm saying. You got to get out there, don't you? You got to study the creek. Which is why Ben's like, get, get in the creek. It looks a certain way, and you can pick a spot, and there's nothing at all. And you're like, whoa, what did I do wrong? And you go the other, go down the other creek, and you look up the other way, and it may look like a completely different creek. You know, what's going on with it? I've been surprised a few times. Like, there's been, it's more often than I think a spot looks good, and there's nothing there. Rarely, it's happened. It's happened a few times where a spot, nothing's right about it, but yet, the materials got gold. There's nothing right about it. There's nothing right about it when it comes to gold theory, really. Why is it laid down here now? We don't. Well, it's like it happens. Like, like, you know, I sent you benzo that concentrates. I knew there was fine gold in it, but I didn't know half that gold you panned out was in it. Yeah, I gotta awesome. go back to the spot. I, awesome, I tried a little bit of gold panning and just started pan it down to so much in a pan and just do the cons never checked it just pan it down to so much and just kept dumping it in the bag yeah that was good gold man yeah go back to that spot. That was a good bag everybody's done the round on that australian bag now it seems no nope. right here i did mine just find the brewer rock. It's pretty valuable at this point. Yeah. I'm, I still have uh, this. I'm to find it. <laughs> I got the point for it. Then I need to do. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Miller Patreon, he did an Australian edition. Yeah. Sweet. My goodness. I meant to join your Patreon. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. The more people join, the more uh more gold that goes out in those bags. They they've been tracking down. And I mean I get I make smaller bags. It's just what there is to it. But as they tr if they track back up, you know the bags get bigger again. And the, they were they were right on the edge of merging back into one one category for one bag, and hey, it is what it is. I'm not like complaining, but I'm just saying what it was. But uh, we we got another member or two, and we stayed with two categories, and uh, we're rocking it. I think a couple other people may have joined between then and now, and I'll update the banner. I forgot to run them tonight. I for always run them. Up. Do my thank you banners for my awesome Patreons. No, I wasn't that. I was wrong with that. Here we got members. Yeah, the members. I got to update that one. I try to update it every month. And we got some awesome. How come, how come I'm not the first member? <laughs> on that list? I don't know. I think one time when I one, I added one on at the front. I don't know what happened. Not, I haven't even looked to see what mine. Three be three member awesome. Twenty five months. Oh, Dang! Get them puppies, Rose. You don't <laughs> take that kind of shenanigans from them puppies. We got, we got the gold fam one, gold fam two. I opened up the new, the rock things taken off slowly as I don't have a consistent show or content like that. And it's almost like um, trying to do the rock content on this gold channel might be to track, might hurt it more than help it. I don't know. Uh, YouTube and the algorithm is funny about reaching out and doing different things, but I, I just want to do what I want to do. I don't want to not do what I want to do because of the algorithm or whatever. So, they're happening. There's not going to be another rock channel. I would uh, stick with the same channel personally. There might be a chill channel come out. You'll know where I can play wherever I want and pick on people. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <Yeah. laughs> boop, bloopers and stuff and laughing and falling upstairs and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I'll probably do that Saturday, so get your camera out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
to the moon. I go to the moon. I got to figure something out with those new waders. That's my goal between now and Saturday is to get them cut and and just beta prototype. I'm I'm tired of those slick bottoms. My felts are gone, so I just got slick bottom waders, and it's mm. it makes the bottom of your feet tender throughout the day because there ain't no protection for every sharp rock you step on. You step on it. You know, just a thin layer, thinner than any flip flop. You know, just thin layer of rubber all day. It's been kicking my butt. So, Why don't you lose? I'm there. Every, there. It it always it comes off. Off comes off. Because it's the act of the the sh the shovel stomp is what does it. Ah. Pushing on the shovel, you don't have to even have to stomp. Just. Yeah, I had to put those water boots. I took silk tappers and re screwed the salute back onto it. I had one of those. I didn't use them and disappeared. Ah. <laughs> 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 Mary, Mary, Mary. She won't do. She won't do, I tell you. Mary. She's a hoop. <laughs> Heck yeah, we're throwing rocks. I like I like the little gold rocks. Those are fun. Yep, me too. I ain't talking. We do all kinds of rocks. Like this, this is one of my favorite ones here. This bad boy. Yeah, I'm sure I look pretty special picking up rocks, looking at them real close. <laughs> Leave a rock. Oh, yeah. As Is long as you're not on your hands and knees and just putting your face to the ground, I think you're doing all right, Chris. <laughs> yeah, it could be worse. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not crawling around. We were trying to make it to 11 o'clock. Struggling. Struggle. Struggle. Struggle, boss. Yeah. Got through Patreon. Six minutes. Welcome to the Patreon mean? family. Jeff, yeah. whack it. We're going to send it. We're going to send it. I didn't say there was anything wrong with the rim. We're going we're gonna to do one of these. Let's make sure you bring knee pads because them knees are going to mess up. Check, check, check. <laughs> 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 He was saying, I'm bringing some knee pads. <laughs> yeah. Bring knee pads. <laughs> He's talking All about right. bringing some knee pads. <laughs> we got some good ones, man. The jelly in. Good to go. Oh, yeah, the new Milwaukee. I got the new Milwaukee ones. I'm That's what I got. I have them. I've never put them on yet. Most expensive was, damn knee pads I ever bought. $50 for them. Yeah. Hey, even if you're like dredging sometimes, you got to have them when you're down there, especially if the water ain't too deep. You got yeah. to. $50 bucks is a small price to pay, Jeff. Oh, I know. I can't get a pad. At this age, Chris? Yes, sir. They're comfy and they got that, <laughs> that uh, nah. part that comes up on the Cheers. Cheers. So. Yeah. Oh. I sent it so I can end it. <laughs> Woo! So do I, MJ. I should do a little short of my work van and show you how red it is. No. You won't find any other tool besides Klein and Fluke. Rock on. No. Magical tools. Yeah. To, to, to tulips, Jeff <laughs> uh, Like your barn. Yeah, I bet there's a few might, 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 might as well take that field right there. Yeah. I find old yoke. All right. Bring a couple extra like detectors just in case one broke. Milwaukee. Ah. Uh. Red all day. Actually, uh, I'm proud of them. 
Later, make no. I mean, I, I mean like, I'm not like all one brand on anything. How it has the screwdriver, it's the double sided screwdriver, and then it has the fucking. Uh, I'll get you his address, MJ. This it's got the razor blade, and then it has a storage spot for another one. I'll tell you what. Uh, your mini. This Craftsman 20, you get a Lowe's. They might not make screws. If you get anything stronger than this, you're going to have to get better screws. I guess. I like these 12 volts. Where I do just uh, like electrical and maintenance. This is plenty big. I don't like the. 18 volt drills. These yeah, are heavy. 20. They'll twist your wrist a little bit if you've been paying attention. No, the 12 are good. Huh. I have my 18s when I need them. Yeah. Yeah. Not much, though. Just a little bit. Oh, lost Jeff. The Irish could bite us. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, no. He's back. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You dropped him out. <laughs> I fell in wrong the creek. button. Fell, Lucky. In, fell in the creek. I oh, the wrong button will get you every time. I'll tell you. <laughs> Make it to 11. We got room for one more or two more because this is just uh, a rock. <laughs> Rose will be back after she's done beating the dog. <laughs> <laughs> beating the dog. <laughs> beating the dog. <laughs> Turns a cute pup. <laughs> what dog? I never had a dog. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I didn't even. I've never had a dog before. <laughs> never had a dog. Before. <laughs> Can't prove nothing. <laughs> uh, Hi, Mary. Awesome. So good night, everybody. Thanks. Hi, Mary. We'll see y'all around the community throughout the week. Freedom Friday, JP's Bar. Um, this should be pretty interesting this weekend. I'm looking forward to it, and I'll be seeing y'all around. So, until next time, get in the creek and get that going. See y'all soon. Hi, everybody. You rock. Good night, buddy. <laughs>